don't play games with me. I don't want your pity, nor do I need it. Are you crazy? If they don't want it, then let's take it. Treasure is treasure. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go! I'm not sure about this, but do you have to get first as well? I'm not too sure. Because I know I'm the only one that can damage you. And I know last uh, jet, like you're not gonna do anything to him. Like why are you trying to beat me in this race? Here. Now this boss could be tedious or it could be easy. I remember beating this stupid boss in less than like one minute. Sometimes the boss doesn't want to be like that. Come on. I'm almost there. Right, that's one hit. As long as you ram into him. You should be good to go. But yeah, this boss really isn't that great. There we go. So after you hit him once, then every lap will be a. Uh, it'll transform into that digital world, and then it will be a lap. So that's how you do that. Why'd I do that? Got me. All right. There's also no ring. So what you have is what you have. But there's a lot of a lot of air castles. There's a lot of ways to get your air back if you somehow run out of it. Oh, and it also starts actively attacking you. Luckily, you're not on a time limit. Come on, glow, you piece of shit. Glow. Glow. Come on. Got it. Alright. Last hit, and we should be able to beat the game. I'm able to hit him now, but I don't have that much air. 
I can't do stuff. Come on. Glow. Freaking. Wait. Wait. Got it. Alright, now I just gotta finish the rest of the track and we should be good to go. And the rest of the track is right there. We are good to go. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We just beat Sonic Riders. Let's go ahead and watch the last cutscene and I'll give my final thoughts at the uh, credits. struck by the treasure to notice me, eh? Eggman! Now hand over the treasure! Uh. <laughs> What's so funny? Hand over the treasure right now! Okay, catch! <laughs> the treasure of Babylon is finally mine! Huh? What is this thing? A piece of cloth? Let's see. Ah, this looks interesting. At long last, we've completed our ultimate invention. With this, our lives will be easier, without the need to work so hard to keep ourselves flying. Stolen, the 13th leader of the Babylon Rogues. It's amazing. The carpet's rich texture is a sight to behold, and the way it feels is extraordinary. Something such as this could only have been created in Babylon. Undoubtedly, this carpet will be in high demand from all around the world, but, but what's this? No way. I went to the trouble of holding the World Grand Prix for, uh, for this? I, I can't believe I just wasted my time for this piece of junk. Hmm, what's this? Good eyes. Didn't think you'd spot it for a second, Shorty, but you did. Hey, what are you talking about? This isn't just a piece of fabric. Right, take a look at the material. It's the same stuff we use for our extreme gear. You don't say! Oh, it's... Not sure, but maybe it's a prototype gear. A magic carpet? I thought that those only existed in fiction. Oh, don't worry, you'll see those soon, Sonic. You'll definitely see them stupid goddamn carpets soon. One year later! That's quite funny, actually. I never imagined that we Babylonians could be descendants of real genies. So, you're leaving this place? Yeah! The back of the carpet has more words of wisdom. It says, this was invented to allow Babylonians to travel all over the world to gather treasure. Some things never change, huh? But enough of this friendly banter, Sonic. You better make sure you're ready when we meet face to face once again. You bet. Come on, Jet, it's time to split. Hey, I wanted to say that. Ah. <sighs> We should split too, right? Yes. Sonic Riders, you did it, you beat the game, 
for like the 12,000th time I beat it <laughs> in the span of a year. Um, final thoughts, like like I said before, the game really isn't bad. It just has an extreme learning curve and... Oh god, excuse me. Uh, it has an extreme learning curve and that some people don't want to play the game because of the extreme learning curve, but like like other games, like recent games actually, you just gotta learn it, like learning controls, all that stupid sort of stuff, but most people don't want to learn nowadays. Uh, I just want to pick up and play. That's that's pretty much what this game. Uh, that's pretty much what this game isn't. It isn't a pick up and play game. It's actually a sit there, learn the learn the shit, uh, try to master it. Yada yada yada, all that stuff. But overall, not a bad game. Not a bad game at all. Uh, actually, it's really it's not really all to opinion, but in my opinion, it's not it's not that bad. Uh, I find this to be the best uh, Sonic Riders game. Uh, followed by Zero Gravity. Well, actually, I, th I should put them in order. Sonic Riders, Zero Gravity, and then <laughs> Free Riders, which I'm never doing. And I'm not doing Free Riders for two reasons. One, I live upstairs, and I don't want to be jumping around and uh, bothering the people below me. And second, I don't have an Xbox anymore. So, that is out of the question. So, don't ask me to do Free Riders, please. Unless if you uh, don't donate me a new place, a new Xbox, a connect and a copy of the game. <laughs> Don't do that. But that's it. Uh, before I do zero gravity, I'm probably gonna do something else. Probably not so something not Sonic related. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. This is Ocean 24, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.